Center Titanium Ceramic Silver Alloy. That material makes up the new blade from Vargo Titanium in the Sabata 398. The brand claims that this will hold an edge five times longer than hardened steel. We're gonna put that to the test today. Now a little background. Vargo Titanium put this through industrial testing to validate its claims. We don't have that equipment in the office, but we do have a few things here that we're gonna use to put it through mild abuse and see if it holds up to a knife with very common and very much loved S30V steel. This is the first time that this type of material has been used as a knife blade. We've never seen it before anywhere other than race car brakes. So we are a little unsure about how it will perform and we also don't really know how it works. So we're gonna to try to find out if this Vargo will hold an edge five times longer. To put it to the test, we're gonna put it against some S30V steel in a Buck 112 Ranger. So to run this test, we're gonna cut a piece of cardboard and a piece of wood five times each with each knife on cuts of equal length to try to keep everything even between both blades. Then we'll come back and test the sharpness of these blades. Hopefully we'll figure out which one's sharp. Now that we've done a little bit of slightly abusive testing, especially the cutting the cardboard, you can tell that these knives both are still pretty sharp. The buck actually feels a little bit sharper, but it doesn't necessarily cut any better. I can run it across my thumb and feel that it does slide off the nail a little bit. Same with the Vargo, kind of where the heavy, ah, oh, that's holding about the same. Um, they're very similar at this point. And to show you the sharpness on an index card, here's the Vargo. Cut it fairly well for a knife that's not hair splitting sharp, and the buck. They really feel very similar right now. The funny part is, the part I can't figure out, is that the Vargo doesn't feel as sharp running my finger across it. This S30V steel feels like it has a very fine apex still, whereas this one doesn't. And it makes me wonder at how this is doing its cutting. We have to speculate a little bit here. Fargo hasn't told us exactly how this knife steel works. It's soft steel, which we mentioned earlier, and it's much softer than this steel. However, it does keep cut really well. Our speculation is that it has a micro serration formed by the molecular structure of the steel that allows it to cut even though it's not quite as fine an apex as something like S30V. This is speculation, but amazingly, having abused this knife quite a bit over the last couple weeks, it still cuts things really well, even though it doesn't feel particularly sharp. We just did that one test. We're gonna repeat it a couple times, keeping everything equal between both knives, and check back in in a minute. Still cuts it pretty well, even though it feels pretty dull. The buck also cuts it pretty well. The buck feels pretty sharp still. We're gonna introduce some tomatoes to the test just to show how these cut those at this point. So here's the Vargo. Made a pretty good slice on that. This is a pretty ripe tomato. Cut it very easily. Now let's try the same thing with the buck. Buck also cuts it well. A little inconclusive right now. We're gonna try some sandpaper. Let's do another test on the index card. First with the Vargo. Eh, it's not as sharp as it was. Still cuts it okay. Let's try it with the buck. That, that took a lot of effort to get it to cut. Yeah, it just wants to fold it now. Let's try it with a tomato. Eh, made the cut. That's a pretty ripe tomato. Similarly ripe with the buck. It also made the cut. So both of these knives are performing pretty well. Not a huge surprise there, they're both really good knives. So following an abusive test on sandpaper, it seems that this Fargo did hold its edge a little bit better than the buck. 
So does the Sabota hold an edge five times longer? Well, it's hard to definitively say yes or no. In a brief semi-scientific test, it did stand up very well against S30V steel. Again, this is a much harder steel, this is a much softer steel, and yet this somehow is still cutting better than the S30V. We'd love to know if you have a chance to use one of these, let us know how it works in the comments. We're very curious about other people's opinion on this material because we've never seen it or used it before. We're gonna continue testing this and we'll update you if we have any major revelations.